Hi heathens! So for today's video, we are going to be opening my July 2021 Allure Beauty Box. Um, I didn't cancel. So for those of you who did not know, uh, Allure, um, like the magazine Allure, has their own beauty box. They try to pick like the best of the best or they let their editors pick um, like products from different categories to feature within the box. Did I say it's $21 a month? It used to be $15. Um, so they increased the price. They were also supposed to increase the value and give you an item more. Um, I feel like I've been kind of getting great value, but similar products to what I would have been seeing when it was still $15 a month. But for the life of me, I can't bring myself to cancel it because this is where I've been getting all of my good skincare from. So here we are with another month of allure. So without further ado, let's see what's inside. So. Okay. We have our pamphlet. Let me get that out. And then I'll take all these things out. Now this is what's inside. So we actually have a pretty full box and uh, I'm pretty excited. So let's take the brochure and put it over here because that is going to tell us about all the items inside and their full size pricing. So right off the bat, we do not have a sheet mask, which is good because I am overrun with sheet masks at the moment. So instead they padded the bottom with this nice little foam bit, which is thoughtful. All right, let's start with the smallest thing in here. It is a La Roche Passe. I don't know how to say that. Um, hmm. Anti-aging concentrate with pure hyaluronic acid. This is a small box. So the tube inside is going to be very small. Uh, it says you were supposed to apply morning and evening on face and neck alone or under a moisturizer, all skin types. Oh, this is interesting. I've never seen this in any kind of skincare before. It said it's nickel controlled, little asterisk, developed for people who are sensitive to nickel. I appreciate that. I am sensitive to nickel. I did not know that that was a thing I should be looking out for in skincare. So I'm now wondering if that's why the Glam Glow product that I had like a skin reaction to is why. Weird. So this is the little mini bottle. Obviously, we're probably never going to receive a full size of that brand because it is expensive. Very expensive. Okay. Next, we have something that I really like this brand, so I'm kind of excited about this. This is by Acure. This is the Brightening Vitamin C Jelly Mask. I don't know if this is full size or not. This is a little 0.25 fluid ounces. It says, um, directions apply a thin layer to face and let sink in for 10 minutes, wash away and pat dry. I, this can't be full size. But look at that cute little glass jar. I love this brand and they're actually relatively affordable. Um, so I'm excited to try that. Then we have something by Crabtree and Evelyn. It's the Gardener's Spiced Honey Bath Syrup. So I'm guessing it's a bath wash. I want to sniff it. It has a safety seal. Ooh. Oh yeah, it smells like burning honey. Oh, I love that. Mm, it smells so good. Apparently honey is not as popular a scent as I thought it was. Does anyone else love the smell of honey? Because I love it. And I've met more people recently than that hate it. And I'm like, okay. Then we have Able Skincare London, an anti-aging retexturing and resurfacing duo moisturizer. So for some reason, this packaging looks very familiar. Aha, it's because I have something over here from them that I believe I got in BoxyCharm that is a hyaluronic acid age recovery night cream. So this is a brand I'm apparently exploring now. Um, but this is the retexturizing and resurfacing duo moisturizer. And then these last two products look very exciting because they are full size. Oh dear. Okay. I love this brand, 
but I have not kept any of the eyeshadow palettes I've received from them previously because I kind of already had the colors. So this is Ciate London. This is the bronzed eyeshadow palette. That is all kinds of reflective. I'm so sorry. Um, this one I might actually keep because I'm drawn to neutrals. So this might get moved into my everyday rotation. Uh, one of the ones that I'm getting rid of was like the little nine pan, like red and pink collection. And then the other one is one of the like larger, I think a 12 pan. That doesn't sound right. 18 pan. So it has the typical packaging for these um, eyeshadows for Ciate. Oh yeah, I'm definitely keeping that. <laughs> I'm very excited. And I feel like it's been a while since I've done an eyeshadow look using a new eyeshadow product. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna try to scoot up because I know I'm a little far away um, because of my current setup. My legs are like squeezed in right now. So I have mascara on. But I don't have any eyeshadow on so we are just gonna go right for it so these don't have names but I'm gonna tap into this one first uh, they have names on the back I don't know if this is bubbles or velvet and then I'm gonna tap into this one okay so I assume this one is starlight which would mean this one is bubbles I'm gonna tap into the middle row one first I'm not gonna pretend I know how to read those back things <laughs> A lot comes off so I have to tap a lot off like when you tap in you have to be super careful because you're going to get a lot on the brush but yeah already I'm loving that shade I dug in way too much that first time so I'm uh, trying to go a little more light-handed this time because more went into the air when I tapped it off, then went onto my eye. Somehow I brought the other one over more. We're gonna even it out. This is another reason that I don't like editing my videos because I don't wanna edit through these steps so that you can see exactly how long or how little a product takes to blend out and look the way that I want it to look. I mean, whether that's the way you're gonna want it to look or not, you can still get an idea of how it functions. I'm going to take a different brush and tap into this other shade just to give a little dimension. Okay, so this one is a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to take it up through the crease and across the lid. It is kind of hard to tell in the pan. I think they just have a slightly different undertone. I don't think one's necessarily lighter than the other. They're just different shades. I think I preferred you better when you were over there because I feel like I get better lighting over there. Whatever. We're going to deal for now because with the new angled bit, I can't put this where it used to be. All right. Now for the shimmer. Mm. Okay. I want to swatch this one just because I think it's beautiful. It's not the one I'm going to want to use. Oh, it's very sheer. Very pretty. Very, very sheer. I'll have to find out how I need to use that. Alright, so the one I'm going to put on my eye is this one down here in the corner. This one must be golden. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Okay, so what I'm going to use that other one for then is I'm going to try to use it for an inner highlight. And see if it shows up like that. Wow. Okay, so I am really glad I got this because this is like the perfect small size. So if I needed to like take this to do my makeup somewhere that wasn't home, I can see myself using this for any occasion. All right, so I'm gonna take my pinky and I'm gonna tap into this shade that's like very sheer and just pop it on the inner corner. It's definitely a topper, but I'm not really sure how to use those. like. If you can't see them, then you can't see them. You know what I mean? Like, I can see it here on my inner corner, but I can't imagine putting that over a shadow and it popping 
in any capacity. Okay. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay. Last but not least, and then we will get on into pricing. We have a Winky Lux Unibrow. It is supposed to be a universal brow pencil. Um, so it's not in a shade because it's supposed to be universal. So we'll give it a shot too. I have a little bit of, um, like tinted brow gel, sculpting gel, something like that in my brows. My fingers are like blittery now. Uh, but I'm just going to run this through the rest of it. And it shows you like it on different brow colors and skin tones on the packaging. Very nice little packaging. I assume that's a spoolie. Yep. And then it's got one of the like teardrop shape applicators. I like those. I know a lot of people do not. Let's pop these off again. I'm really happy with this eyeshadow. All right, I'm gonna get close so that we can see what we're working with. Okay. It is not a bad shade at all. This is obviously not going to suit everyone's brow, but I feel like it's neutral enough where it could suit most. Obviously, if you had black brows, this isn't going to blend in perfectly with black, um, but it could help possibly fill some sparseness. So that's the difference between the one and the other. I actually really like this. It's very, very soft, but it's not like non-existent. The pigmentation is there and it's not overpowering. It just looks like a nice filled in brow. I really like this. I could easily see me uh, swapping this into my daily routine. I've been using, when I've used a brow pencil recently, the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist. I received that in Influencer and I've made a couple posts about it on Instagram. If you don't follow me, my um, username is always in the description below. I like that. You know? Okay. All right. Listen. I know the past few boxes haven't been that great, but I like this one a lot. Okay. Full size. Prices. That's what I meant. The Ciate London palette is $24. The Able Skin Care. <clears throat> the Able Skin Care Retexturizing and Resurfacing Duo Moisturizer is $132. And this is full size. So, value of the box. We're done here. I'm just kidding. I'm going to tell you everything else, but like, definitely your value is right there. Um, the Acure, it doesn't say what size the full size is, but full size retails for $19.99. Um, the, where is it? This, don't know how to say the brand. Oh, that's not near as expensive as I was expecting. Full size is 30 mil. This is three and full size retails for $29.99. That's actually not that bad. Am I getting that in another brand mixed up? The Winky Lux Brow Pencil. Retails for $16. That's not bad. And then you could get one of two items by Crabtree and Evelyn. Oh, thank God I got the one I did. This one is Honey. I love. The other one was Rose. I don't love. This one retails full size for $35. So I'm excited and I am going to keep it for another month. I know y'all are probably going to hate me because... Y'all have not been as excited as I have, but this box really, it's, it's doing something for me because we got two makeup products, both of which I'm very, very excited for, and I can see myself using daily. We got a body wash. I actually really enjoy the scent of because it's not rose or lavender. We got a stupid expensive skincare product, and then we got a cure, which is a brand that I really enjoy. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.